Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgam Ash, and today I want to show you Screaming Brain Studios. Screaming Brain Studios is a repository, a website created by John Kay that contains over 10,000 Creative Commons Type 0 or public domain assets, both functionally the same, that you can use in your projects, commercial, personal, whatever the case may be. Reading verbatim. Specializing in 2D isometric renders and procedurally generated graphics, these can take a little extra time to create due to using lots of obsolete and abandoned software. Every asset pack from Screaming Brain Studios has been released under the CCO public domain license and are free to use in any project, commercial or non-commercial, modified or unmodified, and redistributed however you like. Credit is always appreciated but never required. A special thanks to everyone who has donated to Screaming Brain Studios. Every donation helps this gentleman keep making more free graphics. We've got free graphics, tutorials, the official itch.io page, and the official OGA page on open game art. But there are downloads right here on the website, and you can also become a patron. So there's a lot of stuff here. I found this account on Twitter, or they found me, one or the other. Let's take a look at some of the isometric graphics. This goes straight to the itch page for download, and you have amazing thumbnails of the kinds of things you would be able to download for your project. So right off the bat, we have free isometric tiles. Here's an object pack with 395 isometric object tiles. Here's a wall pack with 510 isometric wall tiles. All kinds of stuff here for everybody. Now these are not 3D models, these are ping image files that you would stamp down in your map, I would guess. But that is the purpose, I believe, to take these and put them into a collective tile set that you'll pull from in order to build your game world. Let's take a look at the overworld pack. I think stuff like this is beautiful to me because it just, it bleeds 90s and some of it bleeds 80s. And it's just, it's, it's very, very nice to behold and just take in. If you're a fan of games like Baldur's Gate or Diablo, uh, just to name two out of the thousands of games like that and ones that predate those games, then this is a great start. But it looks like there's a lot of other types of assets here as well. The old school dungeon crawler. This pack contains a series of 189 free wall, floor, and ceiling pieces you can use to make your own 2D first person dungeon crawlers. So great for prototyping or creating quick backgrounds. It looks like they all come separate as well. So you are able to make pieces, set pieces, just like this and like this uh, with modular side walls, ceiling, and it looks like there's two levels of depth to each room, if not every room, then some rooms. More pictures that I wish I could zoom in on and get a better look at, but I know that let's just follow you on itch while we're at it but i know that i could download these for free use them in my game and give myself and you as as good of a look as you could possibly want just a couple of random things the 2d poker pack if you wanted to make a card game or something that required card game assets simple game buttons main menu new game continue game quit controls inventory status equipment video i love this this is so great it's it's a lot of stuff here's 300 free procedurally generated abstract textures to use in your game or project so here's an isometric grid pack this is just this is just tiles for designing your own stuff yeah that's amazing stuff like this of this magnitude this number this depth this 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 flexibility to be offered for free this person is they're doing just absolute fantastic work and they're making these assets as accessible as possible so i really hope that you guys can check out screaming brain there's a lot of stuff here i just looked at all but you can separate these categories up space textures interfaces tile sets there's the tile sets in particular board games animated we have animated tile. Oh, we have some like old school looking Windows 98 type game flags. That's amazing. We've got tutorials for how to make circular textures, first person dungeons, how to do isometric cropping and isometric textures, 
Learn how to make isometric grids and lighting. This is noteworthy to me. A large number of Screaming Brain Studios assets have been created using a series of utilities and tools that are unfortunately no longer available to the public. This means I may be one of the only remaining users in the world working with some of these tools, and I have taken it upon myself to keep them alive in some way. Sadly, there is no way to acquire them. The companies who produce them have disappeared. All possible means of contact have been attempted, and I am not legally permitted to redistribute them. I will, however, demonstrate various techniques and procedures used to create a lot of the assets in my graphics packs using alternate software such as GIMP or Photoshop. If a tool or utility is currently available, either free or commercially, I will also link to the website where it can be downloaded or purchased. This, this is great. This is just, this is, this is just lawful, good, holy class. We have a tools tab. What is in the tools tab? Graphics programs for free. Graphics programs that are paid. Noise generators that are free. Awesome. I love that. Noise uh, texture creation. That's free. Tile Mancer. Procedural tile creator. Interesting. No longer in development, but still, still available for download. Utilities and a list of programs that are unavailable. Oh my god. PaintShop Pro. I used to use PaintShop Pro. It was awesome. It was actually really great. Okay, so please go visit the link in the description below. Go check out ScreamingBrainStudios.com. I found them on Twitter, so you can definitely go follow their Twitter as well and check out their itch pages. If anything, if you don't see something that you like today, follow them. You might see something that becomes invaluable to your project at a later date. So that's it. I hope that you found this educational, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Until then, bye for now.